Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can batch optimize your images for the web. Uh, currently, I have images in the format JPEG or PNG, and I want to transform them in WEBP, which is a better format for the web that compresses the images, make them smaller while keeping a good quality. So let's start. To start this, I will first open one image could be any image so i am editing this folder here i'm gonna pick the very first image and open now i'm going to open my actions um, settings here if you don't have this window open just hit window and actions and you will see this window appearing now i'm gonna hit plus and I'm going to create an action which Photoshop will record everything that I'm doing. So then every time I press the actions button, this everything that I did and Photoshop recorded, it's going to be done automatically again. So it saves us time and pressing lots of buttons. So there we go. Um, action will be save WEBP images. And I'm going to hit record. With that done, I will now save this image as a WEBP file. So I'm going to hit file and I'm going to press save a copy because I don't want to save the original image. I just want to copy. And instead of JPEG, I'm going to select WEBP. I'm going to keep it inside the same folder and I'm going to hit save. I save all my images at 80% quality because if I go at 100% maximum, it, they will still be quite a heavy image size. And if I go too low, the quality will go down and everything's going to be pixelated. So 80% is a good um, quality to save for the web. And now I'm going to hit OK. With that done, I stop my recording and that's it. I can close my image now. And now I'm going to do the batch editing. If I just go back to my folder, you will see this image is saved. The original image size was 16 M megabytes and it was over 8,000 uh, pixels. Now, this image is still over 8,000 pixels, but it's only 1.5. It's still not good. It still has to be better. Uh, we don't want to upload anything over 2,200 pixels, 2,200 pixels on the website. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to run an action on Photoshop. I'm going to hit File, Scripts, Image Processor. This little window will pop up. Then I have to select, first thing you select the folder where all your images are. So I will say my image uh, in this folder here is the high resolution images that I want to change. I'll hit open. Then I want to save them in the same location. Otherwise you can create a new folder for it. So let's create a new folder inside of this, let's say WEBP images, create and open. So now everything will be saved inside this new folder. It will be separately from my um, from my high resolution folder. Okay, uh, now I have the folder where I'm going to. I'm also I'm gonna hit save JPEG as well because I want to resize uh, these images. I remember I said I don't want anything over to 2200 pixels. So for width, it's not going to crop my images. It's just going to set a maximum size of 2200 pixels for width and for height. And with that done, I'm also going to click here, run an action. And then ins is a default action. And it's just the action we just created, which is save WBP images. With that done, I have everything I need and I'm going to click run. Now, uh, Photoshop is 
for resizing my images and also saving them in the format WBP, which is the action that we created for the first image. I will come back once everything is done. Okay. Photoshop finished and now let's see what happened. Inside the WBP images, it created the JPEG files um, and no file is bigger in width or height than 2200 pixels. And you can see all of them, they are optimized. Awesome, but you still see, for example, the very first one, the bath is still 453 um, carbides and it's still not uh, fully optimized but inside this folder it also ran my other action which was to save the WBP and you can see that now my image um, is 239k and it's a maximum of 2200 as well. So it did two things at once. It um, did the optimization of my images in JPEG, but I don't need this, the JPEG ones. So I'm just going to delete this entire folder. But my WEBP, the copy, it's so optimized and as you can see I still have a great resolution at 2200 uh, wide but it's only 196 k bytes k bytes I don't know how to say that kb k uh, and when you open it's to a really good resolution my images are not pixelated and it's beautiful to go on the website so this is how you can batch edit your images let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any hiccups, hit me up and I'm happy to help you.